The mercury finger, or the little finger, reveals information regarding our ability to communicate and express ourselves. It can reveal information regarding our cunning and our shrewdness, our memory, our ability to learn, skills, mathematics, science. A clear vertical line seen on the first phalanx, that's the tip of the little finger, shows an aptitude towards the occult, uh, leaning an interest in the occult sciences and an intuition. It also shows an ability to project, enunciate, pronounce, and speak effectively. Several horizontal lines seen on the mercury finger here betrays uh, someone who is a potential liar, someone who speaks a lot but says very little, someone with a lot of words but you know very little context, very little subject matter to their words, very little meaning. There is also the possibility that they might be a thief. Now, a cross marked in this area on the tip of the mercury finger is a rare sign, and it shows an ability of foresight, of prophecy, and incredible articulation. This person has a way with words. I would love to have read Nostradamus's hands, and I wonder if he had a cross on the end of his little finger. A star seen in this area is a sign of an exceptional speaker, an orator, someone who can capture an audience, engage, and almost sort of hypnotize, and someone who will make a, a vast and dramatic impact on a wide audience with the ability uh, to speak. They will likely make a uh, success of themselves out of the use of their voice and um, speaking in front of large audiences. Now, a star has to be five or six points or more, and it has to be isolated, really, for it to have a, the truest, most powerful meaning behind it. The triangle shows the ability, the innate aptitude to uh, learn and understand the occult sciences, uh, an ability to absorb that information, to study. They are in some way naturally gifted with psychic powers. And I talk about psychic gifts quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit in palmistry, and they range from, you know, being a medium to being telepathic, um, to having those abilities where you can see the future or you can touch an object and know where it's been. There's, there's a great range there, um, and for for my mentor, Terry Stokes, he could touch a person's palm and, and see their future, and, and, and so there, there's a, a tremendous range there. So when I'm talking about the, this innate uh, gift of psychic ability, it could really be one of, more than one of, several things. Now, a square found on the tip of the mercury finger is someone who can make a commercial success by the use of their expressive abilities. And now this could be a street performer, a mime artist, a comedian, or some sort of uh, performing artist. It could even be a dancer of a sort. It doesn't have to be vocal as such. It's our ability to express and um, utilize our are the way that we show who we are through our powers of communication. And it goes much further than just verbal communication. That makes up for only 7% of how we communicate. A circle, circles are very rare in palmistry. Seen here would represent a dramatic and profound ability to speak decisively. This is something I would expect a diplomat or uh, a politician to have. They make um, public speaking look easy and have the potential for success in any given area where eloquence is demanded. A real uh, sign seen on the tip of Mercury is a sign of a masterful uh, this 
deceitful person who can prick others with their by use of their voice not just their voice actually the entirety of uh, who they are and how they persuade and manipulate with their body language with everything that they say and how and they are they are prone to succumbing to their baser instincts and often lean more towards um, negative um, occult sciences so voodoo or you know some some way of um, harming others through um, kind of verses or any other sort of well, unorthodox um, method that is not sort of understood or you know governed by any kind of natural or um, actual law but that's it for all of the signs on the tip of the Mercury thing to let me know what your thoughts are here if you would like to book a reading with me you can uh, you can go to piscespalmist.com and book a reading through me there I'm going to make videos on every part of the palm and uh, the symbols that can be found and what they mean but i'd like to just sort of explain here that um you know you can't diagnose from just one sign or, or symptom in the palm alone at least we have to look at the entirety of the palm you know if for example we were seeing grills on every um finger or indeed uh, you know every phalange there's there's something dramatically wrong here and it doesn't mean that every sign um that every given reason for every sign on every one of these fingers applies it will likely mean something else entirely for example upward lines on all of the fingers is it means adrenal burnout you know it wouldn't mean that um, all of the meanings behind the vertical lines on all of the fingers applies themselves so i hope that makes sense i'm waffling now but thanks for watching please subscribe and i will see you on the next one